With StopCAD PDS version 11, users will find that the curve blending tools have been enhanced so that they are easier to work with. In this video, we're going to show the display of the adjacent corner angle, auto insertion of curve points during blending, defining curve blending area using tab, curve width and height display during blending, and manual entry of desired curve length. Here you see the adjacent corner during blending, which helps us to maintain the 90 degree angle on the center back corner. In older versions, we couldn't see the corner, which made it more difficult. This is how it worked in V10. In V11, we get these curve points auto-inserted so that the corner angles are already there. Now we can easily finish the rest of the blending. Let's say we're satisfied with the upper portion, but we want to touch up where the two curves meet. We can define the blending area using the tab key. See how we can blend only this area without affecting the rest of the curve. This is so much easier than having to reshape the entire curve. While blending a curve shape, F7 shows the perimeter length. In V11, users can view the width and height of the blended curve as well. Knowing the width and height can be useful, especially for an area such as the armhole. Notice how the perimeter length, width, and height are recalculated as we shape the curve. When blending, it's not easy to get the perimeter measurement to a precise length. After we're done blending, with the manual entry method, we can enter the exact measurement. The curve is adjusted automatically. Now let's verify the result 